Good afternoon. Welcome to Take 30. I'm Harry Brown. And I'm Nadine Berger. Don Cherry was one of the most colorful coaches in the NHL. With his Bull Terrier Blue as his constant companion, he's now left coaching and recently co-authored a book entitled Grapes, A Vintage View of Hockey. Don and Blue joined Harry in the studio recently. One of Canada's best-known sports writers, Jim Coleman, refers to this person here as uh, a canine aristocrat, highly intelligent, highly cultured, well, and uh, despises vulgarity and pretensions. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I, she, she's lovely and everything, but Jim Coleman is a lovely friend of mine. And uh, she is beautiful. I'll go along with that. She, he also suggests that uh, it was with uh, Blue that Stan Fischler wrote Grapes. Oh, well, he did a good job. She was there helping me along and everything. We almost never had that lovely cover. How come? Well, they thought, I don't know why, but they thought, wanted to put another cover on. And I said, we don't have the cover then uh, we don't have the book because Blue's going on. So she, <laughs> she was quite happy. She's lovely. What kind of dog is that? That's a bull terrier. A lot of people call them pit bull terriers. They were bred for fighting. In England, they're half bu a bulldog and half uh, an ancient uh, terrier. Uh, naturally, they don't uh, fight them anymore. Or I hope they don't fight them, but uh, they have a heart as big as a lion, and uh, they're beautiful. In fact, the English soldiers took them over to India to uh, hunt tigers, and the only problem is when they cornered the, the tiger that they attacked the tiger. They didn't really? wait, yeah. So they have a heart of a lion, and that's the way I like my clubs. <laughs> nice and tough. Uh, how, uh, how do they behave with smaller animals? Look, they're beautiful. They're, they, they do not go looking for a fight. They're not bullies. That's the thing I like about them. They, if, you, if they're running around, uh, they'll play with other dogs. Even if a smaller dog wants to fight with them, they, they will not fight with a, a smaller dog. In fact, in England, they were called a white cavalier on account of that. They nice? were a gentleman's dog a long time ago. Don, now, I understand that you had a very proud moment with Blue lately. She tackled a uh... skunk. <laughs> well, she can't... you're going to tell that story. Well, she attacked a skunk, and we never liked her for about a month, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's the only time I never let her kiss me. She had the, fell down a cellar well, I'll tell you. Was that something? And uh, she had a hat right by the head. And uh, I was proud of her. She never whined, but I'll tell you, she was just soaked. And, uh, in a skunk. Ooh, in something. Yeah. How do you get that stuff off, by the way? Let it wear off. We tried everything. Uh, they tell me uh, vanilla extract will take it off. We try, tried uh, uh, vinegar. Tomato. We tried tomato juice. Yeah. We tried everything. But it's just got to wear off. Vanilla extract, they said, but it was pretty expensive. And I'm not working, so I couldn't Aren't you doing it. anything these Well, days? you know, that's what everybody thinks. This guy's got more irons in the fire than he can shake a stick at, but there are a couple of things about him that maybe we haven't got to yet. Uh, first of all, uh, there was a place called Martini's. It's a little restaurant kind of pub in a place <laughs> called Hershey, <laughs> Pennsylvania. You're not going to tell and, that one, Harry. Well, there was a lady there whose name was Ann, and she kind of took a liking to you. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I drank most beer or anybody went in there. <laughs> you remember that she had a niece? Yeah, I remember, and that was, that was it. That was something like 26 years ago, and... Geez, you have to meet my, uh, this is the first time I've ever been asked this stuff, but anyhow, you have to meet uh, my niece, uh, Rose. Well, Italian, you know, I thought, yeah. you know, and everything like that. And everything. So I met her, and 25 years ago, my fate was sealed. And uh, I'll tell you, it, uh, she's been knocking around with me. I, I always kid her I, on my uh, uh, banquet circuit, I say I go in the house, kiss blue, and pat Rose on the head and that, but... That goes uh, over big, I oh yeah, but I'll tell you, she's been with me for, um, I would say, 26 years. We've been in 13 different cities, knocking around. We lived in uh, uh, one-room apartments. Do you know that at that time when you took her to see her first hockey game in Hershey, uh, which was where you played most of your hockey. I mean, you weren't a well, big, some of it. You weren't a big star in the NHL. No, Dick one Meadows game. told me about your career in the NHL. Uh, but she didn't really like the game. She thought that Canadians were a bunch of hoodlums, a bunch of thugs. Well, and, I don't know. And she... you got into a terrible fight that night. Blue's getting mad. You're leaving saying that about Canadians. No, I did. I got into a beauty fight, and I used to, I was a pretty good enforcer in those days. And... Uh, she says, I got cut over the eye or something. I don't know how he did that. I never used to lose. But uh, uh, she said, these guys are barbarians. All they do is fight. And uh, I guess that's, uh, I don't know, maybe that attracted did her. Did she her. think she was going to reform you? No, heavens no. She, that's why they attracted me to you, that violence. You know what I mean? She must have loved it. I don't know. She, 
We, we got married, I think, two years later after, after that. I this is the first time I've ever been asked about this. Well, it was a part of... Uh, I just met her a short time ago. And I was quite taken with this lovely, I, dignified, well, gentle lady. I married her on potential. She wasn't too good looking in those days, you know. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. She weighed about 90 pounds and was one inch away from a midget, I think, something like that. But she, she looks pretty good now, I gotta anyway, say. She, she's married to this Hulk. Yes. And, uh, well, a good know, looking Hulk. She spent 26 years trying to make a gentleman out of you, and so far has failed. Yes. <laughs> Miserably. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say a lot of things about sports figures, but you seem to have an awful lot of friends. There must be something about blue that brings the best out in people. Well, because clearly, uh, it's either blue or rose. It isn't the main ca character in the piece. Geez, I, no, I, I think that uh, I worked on construction for 20 years. And uh, I, my uh, jackhammer was my specialty, and uh, I, I think the guys when they see me on television and I, and uh, uh, guys see me, they say, hey, there's a guy that uh, worked on construction, and that's what I did. I don't consider myself uh, out of work, uh, coach. I ex uh, consider myself uh, an ex-construction worker, and I think that way. And uh, you can't, you can't fool those guys. You ever heard of a, a labor, a construction worker ever committing suicide? Never because they know what's going on in the world, and that's my type of guy. They've been up for murder a few times, but never suicide. A couple of people want to string you up in places like Colorado. Oh, well, the owners did, not the players, not the players, the fans. We brought 153,000 more people in there than they had the year before. The owners don't like me, I have to admit. I'm a bad guy with owners and management, and I want to hear a funny story. My son is, uh, uh, you know, he was going to put a, uh, what do you, application in for a job and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, you know, at the bottom, and they were him and Han. They wanted to know if he was like, uh, they were talking to a friend of mine. Is he like his father? He's put at the bottom. Not like father, like mother. Probably get the job. So he got the job. <laughs> That's great. Listen, you're a pretty interesting family. Because <clears throat> the young man you just mentioned, Timothy, at a very young age, had a kidney condition. Yeah. And, and his sister... Donated well, a kidney. That's a pretty unusual thing to have. Well, she was 21 too, and you know, I, I've nothing. Very few asked me about that, and there's lots of people out there I know that uh, probably have brothers and sisters that have a kidney problem in that, and uh, they're afraid to give a kidney. My daughter is, is healthy now, can do everything, uh, looks beautiful, and uh, and my son would be on dialysis right now. If, wasn't for her. Yeah, that's a pretty gutsy thing to do, though. You better believe it. At 21, too, yeah. I never realized it till I, you know, I thought, well, this is the thing to do, and then I saw them going down the hallway both together. Mm. Young girl, uh, you know. Oof. Is is bringing up a family much different from dealing with athletes, professional athletes? Uh, do, no, you bring, do you bring the same qualities to both jobs? Absolutely. Uh, I think that if you treat them fairly, and that's why I got the most out of the players I had all the time. I, I did treat them, I, when I first started out, I treated them like brothers, but as I got older, one of the guys said, I read the paper, he says, he's like our father. That really hurt. That hurt me more than anything. But uh, yeah, I think it's almost the same thing. Fair, honest, and be consistent. Mm. A lot of people like, like to see you taking over uh, one of the more prominent Canadian hockey teams. Well, uh, I, I think that... Uh, with, I, with blue as part of their color scheme. Well, it'd be too expensive, I'm afraid. No, I've got a lot of things going right now. I, I mean, uh, I coached for 10 years, and I had a lot of fun. I uh, won a lot of games. Uh, I think it really would be a backward step for me now to uh, get back into coaching because, you know, there's been 57 changes in the last three years of coaching. No kidding. And uh, my track record hasn't been too good. And I, 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 I do have a big flaw, I think, is that I don't get along with management because when I see something dumb being done, I go after it and I say it, and that's what, uh, that's what gets me in trouble. Oh. Would it be okay if I touched the dog? Sure, go okay. ahead. She's really beautiful. She is beautiful. Yeah, See the scar with the, the, the skunk uh, well, lucky bitter? The, lucky the skunk wasn't rabbit. No, oh, I know. That's uh, it's a big skunk. By the way, I hope you stick with that decision about coaching, you know? I, I well, my mother... I want to say that <coughs> because I don't think Rose would be all that happy about you being a coach anymore. She's well, been through I've, that a couple times. Harry, I had a few feelers down in the States and around. And she says, uh, my mother says, uh, was very upset when she heard that. And Rose says, you go back to coaching, you're going alone. She's yeah. not going with me anymore. Because people think, people cannot realize, they, I know every guy out there thinks, and 
boy, coach in the National Hockey League. What a, you know, that's it. But once you get there and you get all the pressure and, and everything, and uh, if, if you're a conscientious coach, yeah. if you're conscientious... Well, your only problem was you never left it in the rink. You used to bring it home all the time. I used to leave, uh, I used to leave it in the bar once in a while, but uh, <laughs> usually it made it home and I was uh, pretty tough. Okay. Uh, what do you believe in? What do I believe in? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I have, uh, people ask me, they say, uh, Don, do you play tennis? No, I'm embarrassed. Do you play golf, racquetball and that? Uh, I believe, again, in the construction workers, uh, you, you give an honest day's work, you work hard. And the big thing about construction, and I know I keep going back to that, you don't work eight hours a day, you don't get paid. That's what I like. I don't like anybody getting anything for free. I like it. Uh, if I'm remembered one thing, and as the hockey players used to say, he paid his round. And you never you get nothing you get nothing for nothing and uh, that's my idea you can work for what you get. Family man. Oh, I'm a family man. Yeah, in fact, uh, um, I'm home almost every night, having a few beers, watching television. I I watch television. Uh, someday I think an antenna is going to come out of my head. Why do you love Rose? Why? Yeah. Where are these questions coming from? Well, I'll do my best. Why is? <laughs> Why do I love her? I don't know. She talked me into getting married, I think. That was the one thing. And no, no. I like her because she stuck with me. Uh, she really did. I, I had to laugh. Dave Schultz's uh, uh, wife, I forget her name in his book, said that she wasn't intellectually fulfilled as a hockey player's wife. And uh, I mean, here she stuck with me through the, the rough times. Let me tell you, I was in Sudbury in one room apartment. You had to go downstairs to the bathroom. Uh, it was just terrible. And Christmas Eve, we were told to go to Three Rivers, Quebec. Never been to Quebec in my life, and uh, she stuck with me. We just packed up and we were gone. There was no hesitation. Go. That's it. There was no whining. That was the part that got me. And uh, some we we didn't. One time I remember lots of times we wanted to go to the show. We'd have to get our nickels and dimes together. But I know one thing she does great. She takes care of Blue the best. If somebody says, "Why do you keep Rose? Who else is going to take care of Blue?" <laughs> Listen, there are three important women in this man's life. Cindy is his daughter, and Rose is his wife. And Blue. And then there's Blue. Well, maybe not in that order, but... Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> Timmy, you're very important, too, and Don Cherry, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Thank well, you I have a lot of fun, I'll tell you. Is it over? Yeah. Okay, I can let so, Blue go then. Okay. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Listen, we, we got some cookies. Could she, could she have a... <laughs> She's gone. Could, could Blue have a cookie? Oh, she'll have it later, I'll tell you. Hey, that's nice. Who did that? Dodie? Dodie did this. Isn't yeah. she wonderful? Dodie's cookie jar. Thanks very much. Thank you, Harry. Loved it.